Church, it is great to be with you today in our Christmas week devotionals. There's just two more sleeps, people. I can't believe it. Well, the thought that I want to share with you today is that everyone is welcome at the manger. And we're going to read in Luke chapter 2 from verse 8 to 15. So grab your Bible and read along with me if you want. It says, And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch of their flocks by night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You'll find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. You know, the theme that is interwoven through this Christmas story is that everyone is welcome at the manger. No one is exempt from the love of God. You know, we read in verse 10, it says it will cause great joy for all the people. You know, the birth of Jesus, the King of Kings, the Saviour of the world, the greatest event in all of history had the most humble beginnings. You know, the saviour of the world, our Alpha and Omega, the Messiah was born in an old stable and laid in an animal feeding trough. Then enter Jesus' first ever visitors, the shepherds. These men were the very least in society. They were social outcasts and an angel of the Lord stood before them. And when the angel appeared to them, they were in the fields, they were at night, they were dirty, they will have been scruffy after tending the sheep. And they had no flashy gifts to present to the king. You know, the Bible also says in another version that they hurried off as soon as they had encountered this angel and heavenly host. They went as they were. They didn't try to present their best side. You see, nothing discounts us from receiving all God has for us either. He meets us in our mess where we are right now. And I am so thankful that God's love is for everyone. You know, I was once an outsider, but God's love found me when I was a mess. He is all inclusive. He picked me up, he accepted me, he loved me, and he called me his own. You know, whether you're Jew or Gentile, the humble or the honourable, the poor or the rich, there are no barriers when we come into the presence of our King. You know, the shepherds wouldn't have felt good enough. You know, they were unlike the wise men who had the ear of King Herod himself and they would have been accustomed to having royal invitations. These shepherds would never have been invited anywhere and would have been looked down upon everywhere they went. Yet here they are. God chose them to have manger side seats. You know, just like these shepherds, you may not feel good enough either to come into God's presence. You may feel unworthy. You may feel like you are walking in darkness even right now. But just like the shepherds in the pitch black of night, they experienced this bright light of the heavenly host. It was a supernatural of heaven colliding with the natural. And God is still in the business of bringing his light into your situation, maybe into your challenge, your lack, your hurt, maybe your grief. You may have lost people this year and facing Christmas may feel a bit painful, but God is still wanting to bring his supernatural touch to your natural. And I want to declare over you today the same thing the angel of the Lord spoke over these shepherds. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. My prayer for you today as I share this is that you would experience the supernatural peace of heaven and that his favour would rest on you, would follow you, would chase you down over this Christmas season and into 2022. I hope you have enjoyed reading that passage with me today. I love you so much church. I pray you have the best Christmas ever with the best Christmas dinner and I cannot wait to be with you all in 
Manchester Central campus on Boxing Day. So I will see you there.